Hello everyone, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and the other day I was asked a question Why do people get depressed? What is the root cause of depression and how can we solve it? Or how can we at least deal with it? And how can we prevent it from coming? Alright, so this video is for those people who are already depressed and also it is for those people who think they are depressed and it is also for those people who are not depressed but they think they may get depressed in the near future, alright? So either you are depressed or you have been depressed in the past or you are perfectly fine, you must watch this video. Alright, so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website. The link is there in the description below and before I begin as I always say God is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and he will help you to overcome depression or he will help you prevent depression as they say prevention is better than cure now why does a person get depressed the ultimate answer to this is well if you see it on a spiritual level it is because of the living entity's forgetfulness of his or her relationship with god but we will go to that later let's see what happens initially in depression when a person gets depressed what happens actually before depression the person's identity is completely shattered should i repeat the person's identity is shattered what does it mean it means that suppose a man is very attached to a woman <laughs> a boy is attached to a girl and then the girl breaks up with him or she goes and cheats with somebody else then what happens the man gets into depression well most of the people if you are healthy then it's very likely that you will get into depression because you have invested a lot of time energy and efforts in the girl so if she cheats upon you it's very disheartening but the thing is why do you get depressed because your identity somewhere inside was that oh i am a proprietor of this girl should i repeat this girl belongs to me does it sound like somebody Similarly, when a boy cheats with somebody else, then the girl is completely shattered because she had an identity. Okay, I am this girl and this man is my husband or this man is my boyfriend. So because of that, the identity is now shattered completely. It's like there is a tree which has roots and you come and uproot the tree and you throw it. Oh, tree is a very big example. Let's take the example of a strawberry plant, maybe tender plant. You uproot it from the grass, grass roots and throw it. So then the root, the tree, the strawberry plant is completely shattered. And then what happens? You do not have an alternative identity to identify yourself with. So suppose you have a breakup. Then what happens? You get depressed because now you don't have anybody. So now you have either two options. Either you go and... Uh, engage with somebody else you find another man or another girl or you sit and keep crying yes those are the two probable options which 99 percent of the public takes these are the two options either of which most of the people they get carried and both of them are unhealthy it is not a solution it is not a solution to go and find somebody else or to sit and keep crying both are worse the first one is in Rajoguna, going and finding somebody else. And the second one is in Tamaguna, sitting and crying and sobbing and lamenting. See, in the Mahabharata, there is a beautiful uh, incident which happens. I, after the horrific instance of Abhimanyu's killing, when seven Maharathis together go and kill Abhimanyu. Yes, on that day of uh, the Kurukshetra war, when the Chakravyu was established by Dronacharya. This was done on the day when Dronacharya understood that, all right, till the time Arjuna is there, I cannot capture Yudhishthir. So then after Abhimanyu is killed, when Arjuna returns to the uh, to the ha home, as they say, na, Shivir, where the enemies used to stay, the army, sorry, then Arjuna saw that everybody is crying. But Yudhishthir Maharaj was the one who was crying the most because he was feeling that today I have failed myself as a king. I have failed in my duty, in my responsibility because a, a king is supposed to protect his citizens. 
and his soldiers and his army but today i let abhimanyu being slaughtered by the kurus it is all because of me it's my fault he was lamenting like this then vyasdev appears to him and says my dear dharmaraj yudhishthir lamentation does no good other than sapping away the energy of a person should i repeat lamentation does no good other than sapping away your existing power and your existing energy it drops your energy levels down so sitting and crying for something bad which has happened is not the solution it will only make the problem worse all right and on the other hand going and doing something else to find a replacement or a substitute when we get over obsessed by it then also that can give us lot of tormentation so then the question is what to do the answer is very simple in this world whatever we have whichever identity we attach ourselves to suppose we are a woman and we have a husband and we have our children we have our parents or we are a man we have a wife we have our children or we have our parents whoever we are then all these identities are fallible which means they can be taken away from us at any point of time is it understood no which means that any any time our wife can pass away or she may go and cheat with somebody <laughs> yes our husband may do the same they may, they can be a truck accident where our son is dead or our daughter is no more anything can happen any time the scripture say padam padam yat vipadam na tesham every step in this material world is full of danger it is totally a hodgepodge it's it's like a forest that is why in the fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam there is a chapter is it the fifth canto yes i'm very sure it's the fifth canto that the name of the chapter is forest of material enjoyment it's like a forest it forest what happens there are snakes there are scorpions there are lions there are cobra there are pythons there are fox there are jackals there are elephants there are dangerous things see what's happening in this world these days crime against women abuse against women it's going up 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 every moment every day every hour i don't know how many women are getting sexually harassed raped abused so many men they are committing suicide because they are not able to maintain the family responsibilities so many so many uh, fathers they are thinking that oh so many farmers in india they are committing suicide so many people everywhere people are not able to live in syria in so many places so if we understand this fact that the identities which we have in this world is very soon to be doomed which means that we may be the husband of a, a lady for some time but it will not happen for all time she may pass before us yes or we may die before them or some something may happen you you both might split you might take a divorce and you might go tomorrow if your wife tells to you oh i don't want to stay with you for some reason or the other what can you do you can fall at her feet you can beg her cry that's all nothing more than that you can do she will go if she wants to go you cannot stop her similarly is the same with the other person tomorrow if your husband says oh i don't like you i will stay with another woman what can you do at least you can at best you can take divorce and get get some alimony or something other than that you can't get anything that's that's it you can't do things are beyond your control so first is we have to understand the fact that things are beyond our control anyways so we can't do much now after understanding that we have to understand that we have to reinforce our identity unto something which is infallible in scriptures there is a word achutya achutya is infallible who is infallible write it down in the comments yes 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 god is the only person who is infallible one who can never fall down one who cannot be harmed lord vishnu krishna ram they are infallible so when we reinstantiate our relationship with god if you are a hindu watching this or if you are a muslim if you are a christian and whoever you are it doesn't matter but whatever your existing your authoritative scripture says whichever path you are following 
you will understand that god is the only person who is infallible so when we reinstantiate our identities with god then all the other identities we have they may or may not be there sometime but we will not be wanting to commit suicide at least now suppose a person is very spiritual spiritual means that the person is interested in spirit the word spiritual means the person is interested in spirit which means the person does not go to god to ask material benedictions as in the shrimad bhagavatam it is said akamo sarva kamo va moksha kama udaradhi tivre na bhakti yoge na yajeta purusham param it is said that whatever desires you have either it's materialistic or it's spiritual or moksha or whatever it is you should go to the supreme lord vishnu to ask but an intelligent person does not go to god and ask for materialistic things because he knows that he can get something much more higher than materialistic things let me uh, tell a story here once there was a king who made a announcement in his village that oh today i will fulfill all the desires of the citizens whatever you want just come and ask me i will just give it it's my promise so everybody came and they said oh i want this land i want this i want that blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> can you imagine if the prime minister or the president makes an announcement tomorrow like this what will happen but there was a brahmin who was very intelligent and this brahmin came at the end and this brahmin came and sat down and this king washed his feet and the king asked oh great sage oh my dear brahmin what can i give you then this brahmin said to him oh great king i don't want anything <laughs> from you and then the king was surprised he said oh you don't want anything then why why did you come here i thought maybe you want something he said i want something but i don't want anything from you i want you should i repeat i want you i want your friendship and then this king was like wow <laughs> everybody came and asked my property they asked me for my land my property my car my laptop my mobile my iphone everybody took everything but nobody asked me and then this king was very happy he said yes today i give you my word i am your friend from today whatever you say whatever you want i will do because i am your friend it's my duty then what happened this brahmana said okay if it is so then tomorrow you have to come to my home for lunch <laughs> and then the king said okay i give you my word done tomorrow lunch paneer butter masala and naan at your place <laughs> <laughs> then this king was very happy and the brahmana was also very happy so now what happened the minister of the king he went before that night to check oh tomorrow the king is going to come here as it happens now when a president or prime minister comes one week before that the security will come and his associates will come and see if the place is good enough for the prime minister to visit so this brahmana did not have anything he had a hut he had a hut which was completely tattered there was nothing in it there was no place to sit even and then the minister said oh the king is going to come here the king cannot come to this hut it's not possible and what are you going to feed him he said oh i anyways don't have anything i'll make some roti some dal somewhere i will beg something and i'll bring and the minister said no it can't happen the king cannot eat all this no, normal roti dal sabji chapati the king always eats very opulent food and then the brahmin said oh i anyways don't have anything to offer to him except my friendship <laughs> so he will have to eat whatever i give him and then the minister said no nothing doing i will send cooks here they will come and cook and then you will feed you will feed the king and because the king will come here we will decorate your home we will we will construct a big home yes we will put luxurious things in your place because the king is going to come here and because now he is your friend he is going to come here very frequently so then next day the king came and the his room was literally like a palace 
because the minister and his, the close associates of the king had decorated the room like a palace because the king is like the representative of god so what's the lesson from this story that instead of going to god and asking i know many people who message me oh this girl left me will i get my ex girlfriend back will i get my ex boyfriend back x y z <laughs> okay so instead of going to god and begging him for some mundane materialistic things like money opposite sex beauty name fame all these things which are anyways going to perish we can and we should and an intelligent person will go and tell god oh god i don't want anything from you i just want you the same story is there in the mahabharat when duryodhan and arjun goes to krishna and krishna gives them two options i have two things the first thing is myself but i will not pick any weapon and the second second thing is i have my narayani sena which is near about one akshohinis and it's called chaturangini sena because it has four divisions and every warrior is strong as a maharathi and this army is invincible whoever has this army will be victorious but of course krishna was there on the other side so how can the narayana sena be victorious so duryodhana was such a fool he thought oh this krishna anyways doesn't have any weapons because he took a vow i will not take any weapon so what the hell is he going to do is useless he's a good for nothing no need to take him let me take the army but arjuna was intelligent he knows that wherever krishna is there is victory which shloka in the gita does mention this yes it is the last shloka of the bhagavad gita which says yatra yogeshwara krishno yatra partho dhanur dharah tatra shrir vijayo bhutir dhruva nitir matir mama this is the last shloka where sanjay says that wherever krishna and arjun is there there is victory and some other things also please write it down in the comments if you know what are the other things which is there where there is krishna and arjun together so the point is when we try to cultivate our spiritual connection with god then we understand that god is always there for us that is why i keep saying in this video god is there with you all the time <laughs> now you understand why 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 i i choose that statement so then what happens even if your wife says get out of here i will not stay with you i have got another new person to stay yes then you will cry you will be depressed what you will understand anyways i have somebody <laughs> yes now this is easier said than done people will write in the comments oh what you are saying is very good to hear it's very nice but it's very difficult to do yes that is why i'm making this video <laughs> otherwise i would not make this video if it would be so easy but people are suffering so the ultimate root cause of depression is that we are forgetful of our original identity with god and we are trying to find happiness in this material world jumping from this to that today from this girl tomorrow to that girl today this boyfriend that boyfriend yes today a job in mckinsey tomorrow in apple tomorrow in facebook my god what about blueberry <laughs> there's no blueberry you see there's only blackberry there so we have to understand that these things are beyond our control and any time there can be a disaster padam padam yad vipadam natesham and we have to understand that we always have an eternal connection with god because lord krishna says in the gita ishvara sarva bhutanam hriday shay arjuna tishthati i am eternally situated in every living entity's heart krishna is always there the 400 vishnu form is always standing the only thing is he is waiting for us to look towards him look towards him not for his resources so when we look towards god and how do we do that by getting up in the morning early by chanting mantras by reading the scriptures by visiting temples by taking darshan of the deities of god by discussing about his past times his leelas his stories with others our friends our relatives our well wishers our near and dear ones visiting holy places going to the dhams associating with the holy people there going and taking uh, knowledge of what activities god performed when he was there so for example i have made a video on tirupati garden if you have not watched it then please watch it 
so when you go to Tirupati next time just don't go there watch this video and go then you will see oh okay this Anantacharya's garden is there this is how Balaji had come so if you have not watched it go and watch it all right and then so many videos are there in my channel about spirituality about God and about raising your consciousness and by this what happens when you cultivate spirituality in your life when you chant mantras when you read scriptures when you meet holy people when you discuss about God when you discuss about his stories, about his pastimes and read scriptures like the Srimad Bhagavatam or the Gita or the Quran or the Bible and try to find some association of holy people within your city or your town or within your village. If you are sincere, God will definitely give you something. And then when you visit these places, go and inquire about the higher truth, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, as the Srimad Bhagavatam says, yes, the Vedanta Sutra says that Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Therefore, you inquire about higher truths. So, when you are completely reinstantiating your existing identity with God, then even if your home collapses tomorrow, it will give you pain, but you will still be able to handle it. You may be depressed, but it will not be like the depression of any other normal person. And then very soon, you will find some other alternative and then God will help you to carry uh, yourself through that. And that is, that's very good to build your life again. But to jump to another person when there's a breakup, that's not a solution, <laughs> you see. <laughs> or to keep crying when, oh, <laughs> when will that person come back doing Kamdev mantras, doing mantras for getting back the ex, going on uh, YouTube and watching videos like, will the ex of Scorpio people come back? Will the ex of Gemini come back total nonsense man this this doesn't work I'm saying <laughs> even if your ex comes back the question is not the question is not your ex will come back or not the question is even if he comes back he or she should you stay with that person because a person who has left you once can leave you again should I repeat a person who has left you once can always leave you again so anyways this is not a video on uh, ex boyfriend ex girlfriend but the point is if you are depressed the reason can be whatever the solution is very clear the solution is improve your life include spiritual practices meet holy people go to holy places develop a connection with god and by that whatever disaster comes you will still be able to somehow <laughs> hold <laughs> yes that is what kunti marani says in her prayers in the Srimad bhagavatam that may my consciousness flow towards you like the ganges flows towards you and may you give me more difficulties so that I can always remember you. My God, she's telling this after her entire generation is, her entire dynasty is slaughtered practically. Except the Pandavas and Draupadi and Krishna and Parikshit Maharaj, nobody remained. Everybody was, they were slaughtered brutally. Either they were on the side of the Kurus or Pandavas, everybody perished. Alright? So, if a lady like Kunti, after seeing her husband die after seeing her grandsons die after seeing everybody die can still say to krishna that why are you not giving me more difficulties then we can at least get rid of depression <laughs> all right and on a practical level do the steps which i said and always take guidance from your gurus from your counselors from your seniors your god brothers if you have and if you don't have go to some nearby center where you can get their association all right so i hope this helps in curing depression and you understand the root cause of your depression and then you will be able to overcome it no matter whatever it is okay until next time if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is depressed or share it with somebody who you think can become depressed very soon or you can share it with share it with yourself also and if you want a consultation then please approach me to my website the link is there in the description below and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and before ending god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay until next time i hope you get over your depression quickly okay bye bye see you